this part is about average speed. So we'll take a um, standard example. Part of a journey I cover at 40 kilometers per hour and rest at 60 kilometers per hour. Find the average speed for the entire journey. Uh, needless to say, if the question is about average speed, then necessarily has to be at least two speeds. If I travel the whole journey at a uniform speed, then the average speed is going to be that same uniform speed. Yeah. For the question to make sense or question on average speed, there needs to be minimum minimum two different speeds in this case, right? Uh, the next thing to note is we need to find speed, and we know speed uh, is given by distance by time, kilometers per hour, right? The relation will always throughout the chapter remain the same. Interesting what is the interpretation. So, when speed becomes average speed, okay, my speed has become average speed, the interpretation of distance changes to total distance in the journey, right? And the interpretation of time changes to total time taken, total time taken, total distance covered, total time taken, right? And while these are very, uh, you know, easy or simple terms, but then they make a huge difference, right? So remember, average speed is not necessary. It may be, it may be a coincidence, but it is not necessary the average of the speeds. Right uh, over uh, two or so on. Right, this is not the correct interpretation. The correct interpretation of average speed is total distance over total speed. Right, and um, uh, if you look back at this question, there's there's nothing given about the total distance and total time uh, taken. Right, so uh, in the current format, this question cannot be answered. The speeds, average speed, will keep changing depending upon what do we mean by the two parts. So, when a question is talking about average speed, what I would want to uh, focus is how are the two different stretches, two stretches or three or four, how are they given to me? What information do I know about the different parts, right? So, we'll continue this question with additional data now and in fact, we'll see many different types of data for the same question and see how do we use this format of the equation now. So, we stopped at that the average speed would depend upon the two parts at the different speed. How are the two parts expressed? We have six different instances which, which typically encompass all possible scenarios uh, of the two parts being uh, uh, expressed. Like question number first part is First part is 120 kilometers and the rest of it is 300. It is directly served to us uh, in, in its completeness, right? 120 and 300. Whereas in question number two, the first part consists of one third of the total distance. Uh, and the, the second part is rest of the distance, which will obviously be two thirds. The difference being here is, here I just know the ratio of the two distances, one third and two thirds. I don't know the exact number. Whereas here I know the exact number and question number 3 is Pune to Bombay is the first part and the rest of the part is Bombay or Mumbai to Pune. Uh, again, it's implicit or it's understood that it's along the same way, right? We are not changing. So Pune to Bombay, Bombay to Pune again, right? In that case, right? Uh, rather than solve it, let's first analyze the different scenarios. So we appreciate the differences uh, easier, right? Uh, faster. Question number four says the first part is made up of two hours and the second part is made up of three hours, the rest of it, right? So big difference here I have actual numbers. In question one also I had actual numbers, but question one was about distances, kilometers, whereas this is about hours. Question number five is one, first part is one third of the total time and uh, second part is rest of the total time, which, which, is, which mirrors very much like question number two. Again, the difference being in question number two, the two stretches were defined in terms of distances, one third distance, two third. Whereas in question number five, it is in ratio of time, one third of the time, two thirds of the time. 
and needless to say question number 6 says I travel for some time I do not know what time but for some time and the rest of it is the same time as the earlier part right so the two parts again have same time whereas in question number 3 it was understood that the distance is same right so if you notice out over here uh, for question number 1 2 and 3 the parts are defined in terms of distances in terms of more importantly distances right whereas in question number four five five time in terms of time the two different stretches have been given in terms of time hope you have noticed that right uh, so one two three are similar four five six are similar let's see what the, let's go ahead and solve it so so we want to find the average uh, speed in all the cases and uh, we have just seen that the average speed uh, is nothing but total distance. So in question number one, what is the total distance? Obviously, I am going to add the two. 120 in the first part plus 300 in the second part. So the total distance is going to be 420 divided by the total time taken. Now here your familiarity comes in. Part one is at 40 kilometers per hour. I have traveled for 120 kilometers, right? How do I find time? Time is nothing but distance over speed, 120 by 40. That is, I'll be taking three hours out of here. Next, I have traveled 300 kilometers at the speed of 60. So, I'll be taking five hours out of that. First stretch, three hours. Second stretch, five hours. The total time is going to become five and three. Is this? 6, 5 and 3, 8 hours. So, I travel 420 kilometers in a total of 8 hours. So, my average speed out of here is 8, uh, 5 is a 40, 8, 2 is a 16, 52.5 kilometers per hour. Second question, average speed is one third of the total distance. So, we need to do one third of the total distance. I don't know the distance, but I need one third. So it's an obvious thing that I would assume the total distance to be 3D. So if I take 3D as the total distance, then one third of the total distance will become D and the rest is going to become two thirds that is 2D. So the only difference is I know the ratio of D and uh, 1 is to 2. So I assume D and 2D, 3D. So the first uh, stretch is D, second stretch is 2D. The total distance will be D plus 2D. Uh, now, I do not know D. Will that pose a problem? Let's continue and check. I need the time taken in the first stretch. Time is given by distance over speed. D by 40 plus the second stretch time is 2D by 60. So, what I see is that the D gets cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. So, a key point again to learn is I need to know about the two stretches, the two parts, even the ratio of distances is good enough, right? I do not need to know the exact distances. Anyway, let's finish it off. So, I am multiplying both numerator denominator by 120 to get rid of the uh, denominators. Uh, so, that is going to be 3 into 120. The D also, I am cancelling it out at the same stretch. This into 120 is going to be 3D plus uh, 4 that is going to be 7 so the answer is 360 by 7 751 za. 750 is 350 357 3 by 7 7 to the 14 14 3 za is 42 around 51.42 kilometers per hour which is different from 52.5 mind you right uh, the third question Pune to Mumbai, Mumbai to Pune. We have just discussed in the second question, I need not know the exact distance. All I just need is the ratio of the two distances and here the ratio is 1 is to 1. So, I could assume going ahead in the same way, I could assume it is just a D and a D and the time taken while going Pune to Bombay is D by 40 while coming back is going to be D by 60. Right? Again, the D, D cancels out. If you look at it carefully, I am not taking the LCM, I am multiplying by 16 to 40. 40 into 60 will come in the numerator divided by 60 plus 40. Uh, so, this is going to be 100. The two zeros cancel out. 6 was a 24 to the 48 kilometers per hour is the average speed. Now, 
for two stretches at 40 and 60. So, I am getting different answers because the two stretches are defined differently. How will it change? How will these calculations look format? Look at all these formats, right? They should appear similar in that case, right? Total distance, distance plus distance over time, right? Uh, how will it change when the stretches are given in terms of time? What will change is first stretch is 2 hours, second stretch is 3 hours. What I know now is I know that the total time is 5 hours. 2 plus 3 is the total time. So, 5 hours is known to me as a total time and in the numerator I want uh, total distance. Now, the distance is not known. What is known is speed and time is known. So, with speed and time, can I find the distance? Yes, but I will have to do speed into time. So, at the speed of 40 for 2 hours. So, speed of 40 for 2 hours, that is 80 kilometers I will travel. At the speed of 60, I travel for 3 hours, so that is going to be 180 and the total distance is going to be the summation of that. So, 180 and 80, 260, which is going to be, am I right? It, yes. So, 552 kilometers per hour is the average speed, yet a different value from the earlier ones, right? Uh, I do not know the exact times for the fifth question, but I know the ratio of time is 1 is to 2, 1 third of total time, 2 thirds of total time. So, let me take the total time as 3t, right? The total time is 3t and so the 3t is divided as t and 2t. And similarly, now I need to, in the numerator, I need total distance. Distance, I will have to deduce it using speed and time. So, speed into time, a speed of 40 into a time of t plus a speed of 60 for 2t. Right? So, that is going to be 40t and 120, this is going to be 160t, again the t does not matter, it cancels out and my answer is going to be 53.333 kilometers per hour. To wind up the last one uh, is very similar to the fifth one except that instead of it being 1 is to 2, uh, the time is the same time, t plus t. So, that is going to be 40 t into t plus 60 into t and so if I cancel the t I will be left with a 40 plus 60 by 2 t the t cancels out 40 plus 60 which is 50. So, eventually I do get an average speed which is equal to the arithmetic mean of 40 and 60 that is 40 plus 60 by 2 I do get it but then that is not necessarily the case. It is one of the possibilities that it can end up with, right? So, these are the different answers. These are the different ways the questions can be format. Let us take a pause and let us uh, analyze this once again. To analyze it, we see, uh, look at this format here. The numerator are the different distances and since data is given in terms of distances, we are simply adding them. 120 plus 300, d plus 2d, d plus d. In the denominator, we need the time and time here is deduced. It is not given. The data is given in terms of distance. So, time has to be deduced. That is the first distance by speed 1, second distance by speed 2, first distance by speed 1, second by speed 2 and so on. Right. So, if I may erase this and generalize the situation here. If the data is given in terms of distances d1 at the speed of s1, second stretch d2 at the speed of h2 and let us say third stretch as well, there can be many more stretches right at the speed of s3 and so on. Then the average speed, the average speed is going to be given as d1 plus d2 plus d3 and so on which will give me the total distance over time and time has to be deduced d1 by s1 plus d2 by s2 plus d3 by s3 will be the time in the different stretches and as many stretches as that. This is your general case which can be used everywhere out of that provided the data is given in terms of distance. Now, this is a specific case is a specific case and what is so specific about it that the two distances are same, 
right so if the two distances are same uh, let me just and the speeds are different s1 and s2 let me just put in s1 and s2 out over here obviously the lcm here is going to be s1 into s2 which will come in the numerator so 2 into s1 into s2 and the denominator will become s1 plus s2 now this could also be a formula for your average speed so this is your average speed is given as 2 into s1 s2 over s1 plus s2 but please remember this is only a specific situation right and what is that specific decision there are only two stretches two equal stretches equal stretches in terms of distance two equal distance stretches right you cannot extrapolate this for three stretches if you do 3 s1 s2 s3 over s1 plus s2 plus s3 will be wrong so please while it's good to use this formula remember this formula is a derivative of the first one I don't blindly extend it out over that, right? Remember, the conditions have to be there needs to be only two stretches, and the two stretches need to be equal in distances. The two parts needs to be right. If it is three, I would rather go back out over here. I'll say d plus d plus d that is 3d over d by s1, d by s2, d by s3. The d's will cancel out, but it, the denominator won't be s1 plus s2 plus s3, right? Work it out yourself. I hope I have made myself pretty clear. Use this formula provided you know where to use it, right? If the data is given in terms of time, then again have a look at uh, this uh, calculation formats that we have. Speed into time, distance 1, speed in, into time, the second distance over summation of time. Summation of time is easier this time because it is directly given and the distances has to be formed out. right? So if I want to again generalize this, uh, if, if the data is given, I travel at a speed of S1 for t1 time, I travel at the speed of s2 for t2 hours and uh, I travel at the speed of s3 for t3 hours and so on, then the easier, the average speed, this time the denominator is much easier because the time is given directly to me t1 plus t2 plus t3 and so on. Speed, uh, distance needs to be found out, speed into time, speed into time, speed into time. Uh, so, this is your formula for a general case when data is given in terms of time. And needless to say, this is a specific case and if you look at it, it mirrors exactly the earlier one, speed into time, 14 to t, 16 to t over 2t t plus t the t cancels out so this is a special case and the, if all the time is same it will simply become speed 1 plus speed 2 plus speed 3 and so on over n that is the arithmetic mean the arithmetic mean of speeds right but this is going to be only a specific case specific case what is that specific case if time is same, time intervals are same. So, I am not writing it out over that. Uh, let me just, a specific case if time intervals are same. Okay, if time are same. So, uh, redo it, rewatch it if you want to have a generalized view and let us take up a couple of questions more and wind average speed.